The spirit of the outdoors. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I just got in. I've been on the road all day long. It is late this evening. I come in. I have packages here. I do not know who they're from. Oh, Lord. I know who this one is for, though. Man. Reach in there and pull it out and see what that is. Oh, y'all. Y'all have made his day. And look at here, y'all. Happy y'all. Tell him, say, thank you. Thank you. We really don't know who. I do know who. It says from Miss Mary Anderson. Yep. Look at here, y'all. Jerry Clower CDs, y'all. We can get brushed up on our Jerry Clower stories. So thank you, Mary. Uh, I appreciate everybody that sends us stuff. Uh, the next thing, this right here, y'all, I got contacted. What do you want to say, buddy? Jerry Clower, Jerry Clower try to get a bear out of that hole. Yeah. That was funny. That's a funny joke. I'm in quite a bit of a hurry and a rush. I have been in the road driving all day. I am, it's getting dark. I have got to go get the grill lit. I'm going to light the smoker. I've got a brisket. It's a small brisket. Uh, I think what they did is took the brisket and cut it in two pieces and put it in there when we bought that steer. That's what I'm going to cook for Thanksgiving. Oh, I don't know how long it's going to take to cook it, but Beaver Craft contacted me and said, hey, we've got all kind of knives, hatchets, as all this stuff, and would you like to try it? So y'all, I told them, I, I mean, they had some really fine knives and stuff. So in this box, come packaged, comes with a box. I am unboxing this right here before y'all. Um... You taking your stuff and going in? I got one thing. You got one thing? I'm, I like this. You like it? Miss Mary, you have made his day. He's going to play. But the reason I wanted to open this before I started cooking is this. Is, I told him to send me a hatchet. Uh, the ads, I would love to have one of their ads. Uh, so I could do some work on my um, building out there, cleaning up some of them logs and stuff, projects. But I said, this this right here is going to be the most common thing. And y'all, I do some camping. I don't do a lot of camping. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay, this is a small hatchet, y'all. And I know a lot of people is going to sit back and think, okay, well, what good is a little bitty small hatchet? You know, you you you, you, you can baton with a knife. You know, I don't do a lot of batoning. This made more sense to me. And I'm going to tell you what. The, uh, and I may tote this thing in the woods as a camp act small. I've never really had a hatchet this small before. But my ideal thing, y'all, is when I get my cooking range, everything squared away, splitting up kindling. So we're going to go up there right now, 
And we fixing to build a fire and we're gonna use this to split up our wood. And that is why I went ahead and started um, this video opening this stuff because I knew what I had. And then see, you can put that on your belt loop. Very nice, very nice stuff. So you see their logos in, in, in well, you call it embossed or at least imprinted in there. Comes with a sheath, you know, a blade guard. Oh, I'm not sure. If I'm not mistaken, this is made in U.S. Made in Ukraine. So, y'all want to support Ukraine? Beaver Craft Tools. Oh, and I'm not, y'all, I've said it in past videos. I'm not one of those die hard, everything has to be made in America people. I mean, there's some fine stuff made elsewhere. So, thank you, Miss Mary, for sending us CDs. We will brush up on our Jerry Clower. But we fixing to go put this hatchet to the test for uh, beaver crab. Now, what I'm going to do, I've unboxed it in this video. I'll share their links and stuff to their store with this. But we'll come back and feature this like in, in some more. You're going to see it in some more videos. But let's go up there and let's chop some wood up and let's get started cooking a brisket. I have got to run and go feed chickens before I do it. So I'm running wide open. I need to slow down. I hadn't had time to rest. I've been sitting in a truck, so I've been sitting still all day and now I've got all this energy that's like ready to go. So hang with me. This wood is seasoned. This is what looked at, y'all. Yeah. I got a piece of pine there. I'm sending it sailing. sharp. Piece of pine right here. Well, if I can get it to work like I want it, I better not. I'm gonna cut my fingers doing it. We'll leave that right there for right now. I don't even know. I hadn't even cleaned this out or nothing, y'all. Look. It seems like, y'all, I have to do everything I do in a wide open rush. I don't know why. I'm going to be now wind up cooking half the night. I didn't want to spend today on the road, but sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. There's a lot of coal in there. I shut that up air tight with it hot, and it actually turned all that to charcoal. You see how that's 
it didn't burn up. But when I got done cooking, that door seals up pretty tight. And it put the fire out, left coals. <laughs> I may actually can cook with that. I'll set it over there for now. We're gonna throw that one big piece back up in there. Then a couple of pieces. Put that piece in there. And we're gonna lay some pan there. We're going to go with the lighter. I ain't got time to be messing around with no ferro rod, y'all. I know it looks cool, but this is more practical. Come on. All right. So, I'm going to take... We're gonna split some of these that's good up small. My kindling box is down yonder. I don't know if everybody knows what a kindling box is, but a kindling box is a box that when limbs fall out of the tree out yonder, you pick them up. You don't leave them laying out there and just burn them in a brush pile. You put them in that box and keep them dry. And when you get ready to build a fire, you got twigs to build a fire with. Now this is what all of the old timers around here at least used to do. I don't know, I'm assuming that was a... I assume that was a pretty well widespread practice, but I don't know that. And take that pine a minute to get caught up, ain't it? I got two more slivers of it right here. Well, I dropped that one. See if we can speed this show up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we good now. That'll caught on up here shortly. One good thing, y'all, is I can sit out here tonight in and out and check on this. We can get, get one of them CD players. I got a good CD player in my truck. If I get one out here, I can sit out here and listen to Jerry Clower now. Oh, well. Let me go feed chickens, y'all, while y'all watch out. Y'all, I am sorely disappointed with this biscuit. This thing is a little old bit. I don't know what they doing. I done seasoned it up like I wanted it. But y'all, that thing ain't no thicker than a piece of bacon. I mean, it ain't going... I knew it didn't look right whenever I... Uh, how small it was. Let me move that bucket over here. But I am going to cook it nonetheless. What is the grills on? Grills on like 200. We're going to go ahead and, I don't know, we're going to wait. A lot of black smoke coming out of there right now. So I got a good bit of coals in there. I'm going to shut that door down some. And uh, 
We got a lot of smoke rolling. But I want to die them flames down. We finna put it on there. I've got a Boston butt that I'm gonna cook too, y'all. So I'm gonna put this over here on the back. And uh, let me get my Boston butt ready. Oh, I'll show you how I'm seasoning this Boston butt up. Now, I'm good at cooking them. I ain't never cooked a brisket, so I didn't tell you a whole lot of what all I put on it simply because I'm experimenting with it. These Boston butts, I like to cook them this way. This is my my most favorite way to cook them. And they come out fine every time. We had actually bought this to have for supper the other day. And y'all, hmm, I ain't had time to cook it. We've been in the road running back and forth. I'm telling you, I am, I'm ready for things to slow down. I do like it. I do know it ain't. Okay, I got this in there. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead first and add my liquids. I like to put Dale's. I don't know if y'all use Dale's. And then I have just got some Italian dressing. These two together and I put a generous amount in the bottom of this and then it'll juice itself up. So, I mean, you ain't gotta just go overboard. But you want to cover the bottom by a half inch, quarter inch, something like that. I mean, you, you want a good bit in there. Sometimes I put at least, shake that up good, because you'll get all the oil and all the goody a bit at the other end. I put at least half this bottle in there. Uh, let's probably do it. We close to half a bottle. Then I'm gonna go, a lot of times I use that picking and grilling. You could use any seasoning you like, y'all. See, everybody's got their own taste of seasonings. There's no right or wrong way to do what seasonings you like. And I'm just going on the top. I got lemon pepper there and I got garlic salt here and I'm probably gonna go get Oh, make sure you got the sprinkling in. You'll be dumped a heap of it on there. I like my garlic salt, my lemon pepper. Oh, uh, and I may put a little little Tony's or something else on it. Oh, uh, I'm gonna set this on there open. I can add some seasoning as it's on there. So. We'll shove it right off of in there like that, right over that hot fire with it open. Put the lid down. It is not smoking as much. Now, of course, with the lid down, the temperature has dropped. We still got good fire. Y'all, we've got a lot of our Christmas decorations up. But I had some candy canes over there and a little old tree. And I'm fixing to change some stuff up over here on this end. Of course, we got a tree on the porch right there that don't have any decorations whatsoever on it. I'll move over where you can see it is just lights because the wind will blow any ornaments off. But this tree I put right out here, I'm fixing to move some stuff around and I may do it tonight. I've got a swing set over there that is, I'm fixing to turn around in ways and wrap it with lights. We'll see how this goes. But being that I had only one candy cane over there still working, I got me two or three more. These is on sale at Walmart's when we was in there. And y'all, that Walmart yesterday was a madhouse. 
And I don't like to go in there, but we go when we have to have things that can just about only come from Walmart, you know. And that was the case yesterday, so while we was there, instead of stopping three or four more places, we just went on and got groceries and everything there. I don't like to buy groceries at Walmart. Just ain't a fan of it. Ain't nothing wrong with it, I don't guess, but it ain't the way I like to function. Uh, these are very different from the ones I got. But anyway, my other lights... Had, well, I got one of them that had quit. One of my other... Uh, I don't know how this is supposed to work. That little old groove they got in there ain't big enough for two cords. Now, I'm just going to tell you. I'll figure it out, though. See if we can twist it around in there. So anyway, what we're going to do is move these up here by the doorsteps and put put four on. So I got to run another extension cord. So I done found out the best thing for an extension cord, and y'all got them if you fool with Christmas lights. And that's them old ruins of lights that don't work no more. Use them for your extension cord out there to the other light. Well, you ain't wasting nothing. I got Brody's swing set, turned it in ways, and I wrapped it with these green lights. I'm fixing to put some colored lights on it. <laughs> Some kind of war going on right out here. Yeah. Is that a war you got? Yeah, that's funny. It's funny that all the other teams. Oh, you got two teams fighting? Yeah, they got forward. Okay. Y'all, I know there's a lot of people that don't think you ought to put up Christmas before Thanksgiving. We've had ours up for a couple of weeks now. Parts of it. We, it's kind of a work in progress for us. I love Christmas. I love decorating for Christmas. So I think everybody should do what makes them happy. If you don't like food with Christmas decorations, don't put them up. As simple as that. But when you find something you enjoy, have at it, you know. But I did want to take a little bit right here to sit here and tell you that I'm thankful. Uh, I'm thankful to each and every one of y'all that send us stuff, that watch videos. If you don't, if you had never hit like or nothing, but you've watched one video, I want to say thank you. Uh, because I, I do a lot of content and I realize everybody ain't going to like everything. Not meant to be that way. 
Uh, if there's a few people that do like everything, I'm truly doubly blessed. Um, but I do want to say thank you. Thank you to each one of y'all that support us, that have bought pottery, that have bought t-shirts, that have bought mugs, that have bought odd knives. I have sold a pile of knives, y'all, and I'm, I'm grateful to each and every one of you. Do you send my my kids things and and we're appreciative of all of that. I don't take any of it for granted, y'all. I'm most thankful though for the lives that I have been able to impact in a positive way. I'm not great. I don't think I'm great. I don't think I'm special. I don't think I'm better than anybody else. God has just allowed me to have a way of, of presenting things, being down to earth, just being myself, being true to who I am, and having a little bit of an understanding. I don't claim to understand everything in the Bible. But it's, it's more than just telling you about the Bible. It's showing you Jesus Christ at work, showing you what he has done in my life, how he has blessed me, y'all. I didn't always have what you see here. I was living in a junky old trailer, didn't have nothing, would never gonna have nothing, drinking my life away, miserable, didn't think I could beat it, didn't think there was a better way, didn't think there was no hope. I did not even like Christmas, y'all. I have literally let my daughter open up Christmas presents while I laid in the bed with a hangover. And I look back on those times and it hurts me now. But I am thankful because I learned from it. And I'm thankful that the Lord looked down on me, convicted my heart, and allowed me to live a better life. And he's blessed me because I submitted to him and said, okay, Lord, I can't fix this, but you can. And it took a while. It took me convincing me. It took the Lord convincing me. It took people praying for me. And with thanksgiving, I'm thankful that Jesus Christ was born. I think Christmas and Thanksgiving all run hand in hand. And I know there's a lot of people, oh, no, we thankful we discovered America. I'm going to tell you, you be thankful for whatever you want to be thankful for. And I'll tell you what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for this country. As good or bad as it has been or may be or will be or whatever happens, I still think America is the greatest nation in the world. I'm thankful to live here. I'm thankful that I understand the Bible. I'm thankful Jesus Christ died on the cross for me. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful that everybody has been healthy. My daddy said, son, a healthy man is a rich man. I don't have a lot of money. I know sometimes people think, oh, you got this and you got that. I, I, we don't have a lot. We got a little, and I'm blessed to have it, and I'm thankful for it. And there's not one day that goes by that I don't start every prayer that I pray to God off and go, God, it's me again, and I'm thankful for today. I'm thankful for the breath of life that's in my body and the strength that's in this body. And then I'm thankful for this family. I'm thankful to have a job. I'm thankful to have a home. I'm thankful for everything that you've done for me. I'm thankful for your spirit that lives inside of me. And y'all, when you're that grounded and you can honestly look in, the, in your face in the mirror and say, I'm thankful for who I am and be comfortable with who I am. No, I'm not the greatest person on earth. You're never going to be better than everybody else. You shouldn't be. But you're not lower than everybody else either. Everybody around you is not better than you are. So with all of that being said, I just want to take this time and, and be thankful for this YouTube channel and how it has grown, how it has blessed me. Y'all, I, I know I make sometimes things get redundant. I try to put out a lot of content. I try to put a smile on somebody's face. I try to give you something clean to watch, something clean that your kids can watch. That, that you don't have to worry about what they're going to hear or what I'm going to say or what somebody's going to do. When they watch this channel, it's, it's kid-friendly. I don't make it for kids. I don't gear it towards kids. But it's kids need an adult role model. They need somebody to look up to. If I can be that person, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me. 
And I want them to look and say, there's a man that's living right, that don't have to drink, that don't have to party, that don't have to do all these evil things, and he loves life, and he's enjoying what he does, and that's how I want to be. If I can be that to some kid somewhere, if it ain't but one kid, it's worth it. It's worth every video I've ever made. And if I can take some of the older generation that used to go hunting and fishing and do all kind of things, and now they're not able to get out and do it because, face it, our bodies are not what they used to be. Mine, it won't be a lot of years, and I won't be able to go. But if I can film the woods and the rivers and the creeks, the sky, and capture some of the beauty of what God has created and share it with you, I can take the older generation back on a hunting trip, take them back down memory lane, Y'all, that is what it's about. So I love y'all. I thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. I'm going to sit out here and babysit this grill for a while tonight. And uh, I want y'all to enjoy Thanksgiving. By the time you're watching this tomorrow, you're going to be eating dinner with your family. You're going to be doing all kind of things. Take time to give thanks to God above for everything he's given you. You may not have it as good as somebody down the road. But look at what you do have. Be thankful because you can always find somebody that's got it worse than you do. We blessed, y'all. All of us are blessed in some sense of the word. And the more you recognize how blessed you are and give thanks for that, the more God will bless you. I love y'all. Thank you for watching Spirit Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.